How do you order a metal coil for your standing seam portable roof panel machine? What information should you know ahead of time? Watch this video to learn what you'll need to know about your machine and project to order the right material the first time. Welcome back, I'm Katie from New Tech Machinery. If you're a new machine owner or you need to find a new metal coil supplier, it can be a challenge to order the right size, thickness, width, and type of material for your project. In this video, we'll cover what you need to know about your portable roof panel machine, your project, and coil suppliers before ordering material. We also have a blog article that covers this information in even greater detail, so make sure to follow along by using the link in the description. Before talking to a metal coil supplier, understand the following about your project and portable roll forming equipment. How well do you know the scope of your project? Is it residential or commercial? Knowing the entire scope of your project, whether residential or commercial, and how complex the roof shape is, helps you effectively calculate the roof size and square footage of the roof and how much material you'll need to use. You'll also need to consider how much material you'll need if you're also fabricating trim pieces. What type of material and gauge is specified for the project? Certain metal materials will be more expensive than others and may be less readily available. There are also certain profiles that may need to be installed over specific substrates to adhere to the manufacturer or testing requirements. What profiles will you use? Will you need engineered or non-engineered profiles? When choosing and ordering the right metal coil for your project, you need to know what profiles will be used and if engineered or non-engineered profiles are specified. If the project you'll be doing requires engineered standards or testing, these standards or tests will dictate the panel profile and coil and panel widths you can utilize to remain within the engineering requirements. What color will be used for the project? Make sure your client has confirmed what color they want to use and find out if the coil needs to be painted. As there are many color choices to use for metal roofing, there are different paint types you can utilize. Ask your coil supplier which paint type they use, how it stands up to certain weather conditions, and about warranties. What are the panel widths specified for the project? If you're using a portable roll forming machine, you'll need to know the finished panel width you need for the project after you figure out the profile you'll be producing. This number will vary from profile to profile and is determined by the amount of material needed to produce the male and female legs of the panel. This will also help the coil supplier understand if they need to slit the material to a specific width. Talk to your coil supplier to determine exactly how much material you need to order based on your machine and project specifications. You can refer to a manufacturer or coil supplier's profile cut sheets for help understanding the different coil widths, panel widths, and material usage, or check to see if they have a coil estimation calculator. Before you order metal coil, understanding your portable roll forming machine specifications will help you figure out how much coil it can hold, the types and gauges of material you can use to make a quality finished panel, and how much material gets used up when forming a profile so you can order the right coil width. While specific gauges and thicknesses vary across machines and manufacturers, NewTek Machinery roof panel machines have been tested for the following materials with limited adjustments. Painted, galvalum, or coated galvanized steel ranges from 28 gauge to 22 gauge. Painted aluminum ranges from 0.027 inch to 0.040 inch. Or you can use 16 ounce to 20 ounce 3 quarter hard copper. On each machine, there are maximum coil widths you're able to use. This dictates the specified finished panel width your machine will produce depending on the profile you're running. Materials used up when forming the male and female legs of a profile. Most panels will use between four to six inches of material to make a specific profile, so knowing how wide your limitations are and if you're adhering to an engineered system are helpful when ordering coil. Look at the material usage and maximum coverage widths for the profiles you want to produce for a better understanding of how much coil you'll need. Check NewTechMachinery.com for coil widths and finished panel widths on each of our roof panel machines. Depending on your machine's weight and dimensions with a trailer, it may not hold all sizes of coil. Understanding the machine's weight on a trailer, overhead reel rack capacity, and maximum coil diameters of each machine is helpful when ordering coil from a supplier. The dual overhead reel racks on all roof panel machines can support up to two 3,000 pound coils for a combined weight of 6,000 pounds when loading both expandable arbors with a coil. The SSQ2 machine with optional notching can only support up to two 2,700 pound coils because of the added weight of the notching units. The maximum coil diameter or outside coil diameter measures how thick a rolled coil is. If the coil you use doesn't fit these dimensions, it will be too big to fit the overhead reel rack or freestanding decoiler. 
The maximum coil diameter is 32 inches with the overhead reel rack and 45 inches with a freestanding decoiler. When you find a reputable coil supplier, what should you consider when ordering coil for your portable roll forming machine? Do your homework, research the market, and understand the fluctuation in prices and what causes them. Understand the coil length you'll have to order, what types of materials they offer, and pricing. Does the supplier offer the quality of materials you ideally want to use with your NTM machine? When considering coil suppliers, find out where they source their metals and paint systems. Certain substandard metals and paint systems could encounter issues when going through a roll forming machine like camber, cracking, and edge wave. Ask if the supplier has engineered testing for the panel profiles you want to offer. Be ready to pay upfront for your material before being offered credit terms. Have the coil color specified for the project. If it's a custom color, find out if the coil supplier can manage that request. See what paint, substrate, or weather tight warranties are offered and ask if technical support is available. Find out if they have minimum quantities for orders or if they offer custom colors or lengths. Find out your supplier's lead times and understand when the project needs to be completed. Find out the coil supplier's locations or if distributors are available in your region or around the job site you'll be working at. Don't be afraid to shop around to find the best coil supplier for your needs. While the process of ordering coil from different suppliers will vary, understanding your portable roll former's capabilities and the information you should have when talking to suppliers about ordering material is vital. Here at New Tech Machinery, we partner with some of the best coil suppliers to help you get the right material for your machine and your project. For references to some trusted partners and coil suppliers, or for more help understanding your machine's coil requirements, feel free to reach out to one of our account managers. Thanks for watching.